What's up? Coming to you live from the hospital. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, God. I don't know what to say. There's just so, uh, there's so much stuff going on. All right. First of all, what's going on? Like, you're just chill and lay back. Right now, I'm kind of chill. <laughs> they gave me a chill pill, basically. I'm kind of relaxed. And you just had a major I just injection. Had, pro this is probably on my top ten list of things I didn't want to do. A shot in my back. My spinal cord. Just even thinking about it, even though I just did it. I, what, shot the lumbar well, I mean, he gave me the, the numbing shot first, the, the same spot. He gave me a shot first to numb it. He gave me two shots. Two shots in my spine. And I was sitting up just like this. I'm going to arch my back out and relax my shoulders. And he gave me two numbing shots. And then waited a minute or two. Poked me with another needle and took out like four, four tubes of body fluid from my spine. Uh, and then for that reason, they were checking me for meningitis because meningitis, you have a pounding headache, you have, uh, you're really sensitive to light, like opening your eyes and looking at light, that's really sensitive. But having, uh, having a headache will also make you sensitive to light. Uh, but just the, the really bad headache I've been having, that's why they're, they're wanting to check on. Uh, meningitis. So, yeah, it's hard for me to put a lot of words together properly. And, um, I think you're doing pretty good. And also, they're testing for Rocky Mountain spotted fever. And they're testing me for Rocky Mountain spotted fever. They're then meningitis, the meningitis, and the uh, the spotted fever. They're just testing right. for that. It's not. They're not like saying I have it. They're ruling it out. Yeah, they're making sure not that it, I don't have it. Yeah, oh, it's, oh, it's got okay. a shot in my back. This is who? What'd you do? Tyler, oh, okay. if somebody would have told you today oh, that no, you were going right to have a needle in your deal. back, what would you have minute. said? It's Gray. Yeah, you know, Gray's on the phone, guys. Hey. I just got a shot in my back, and then another shot in my back, and then a needle in my back, a needle in my back, and then liquid pulled from my back. A lumbar puncture. I'm fine. Got a little. No, no, I'm no, just a little tired. They give you a little medicine. <laughs> they give me a little medicine. <laughs> 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 I'm fine. I'm, not, I'm. I'm just like relaxed. It's like and rolling a, looks uh, like Tyler is leaving. Looks like they're rolling a a wheelchair. Tyler's leaving. Could have ended up in with that spinal thing. They're gonna put Tyler in his I'm vlogging. I'm in his uh, room. So that was a couple days ago. Uh, now I'm feeling much better. My fevers went down. My headaches going away. Uh, and uh, well, not that I wasn't feeling good then in that clip. Uh, but yeah, so uh, they've done all kinds of sorts of stuff to me. Right now I don't have an IV in me. I actually just took it out. It was right here in my arm, which really hurt because when I move right here. See how that muscle moves? I don't know if you could tell. Yeah, it hurt to move any of my fingers, and it got to the point where it was throbbing pain. Like, oh my god, it was horrible. And like my arm started to swell up right uh, on, like right here and right here on the actual muscle. The, the lady had to take it out. I'm finding out if I'm actually going to even get another one. I'm actually going home tomorrow, uh, so that's good, or that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I'll start taking antibiotics by mouth. That's what she said, what she was uh, checking on. If I can just go ahead and start taking antibiotics by mouth now, since IV's really been bothering me, uh, since I use my right hand, I don't want to put an IV in my right hand. Trying to eat some of this food, but look at this. That is the nastiest chicken butt pie I've ever tried to eat. <laughs> Whew, this hospital food <laughs> is, is pretty bad. This is actually pretty good. It's a pear, I think, soaked in like pink lemonade. Uh, like, see, it's a pink pear. It's pretty freaking good. Uh, and then, what is that? Uh, peach cobbler or whatever it is? I don't know. I'm trying to upload the vlog, but uh, as you see, 2,280 minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to wait because uh, that's the Wednesday vlog, the one that I didn't get edited like last week for you guys right when you're watching this. Um, that I'm going to upload probably over the weekend. Um, 
she gave me an ice pack to put on this uh, this spot where the IV was and where it's sore, which helped a little bit. So now I can actually move my arm. Hurts a lot, like it's really, really sore. And I did have an IV right there too, uh, that little spot. And then also right there, they stabbed me with a needle earlier this morning and I drew blood. Uh, by the way, holy crap, this doctor's tape does not play. Look at this. See that like red spot right there? And I don't know if you can look at my hair and tell. It freaking rips your hair and skin. Holy crap. It's just as bad as the shots themselves, which aren't that bad. But I'm telling you, this freaking tape ripping your hair out hurts. Oh, there's baby Bambi deer. They were so little and they're definitely new. You were just born recently, little ones. They were just running crazily fast in the backyard. My mom was screaming, oh my god, there's babies. Oh my god, you're so little. Little twins. Oh my goodness, I just want to cuddle you little babies. They have so many little spots. So right now I'm just chilling by myself in the room. Uh, my mom is actually, I think, on the way. Probably my sister is coming with her. Uh, they're gonna stay here for a little bit, and then I'm sure my dad's gonna come up later tonight. He's finding out now if he can get off work later. Finally, like good enough to pick up vlogging and stuff like that, and that's why I'm starting to vlog for you. Uh, did I say today's Saturday, by the way? Uh, and then I'll be leaving on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, sometime hopefully. Um, because I should be pretty much done with all my antibiotics uh, via the IV and everything like that. But yeah, it's, it hasn't been that bad of an experience, except for when I was running a fever and had a really bad headache. I've also took a Percocet twice, second time. Had the most craziest dream of my life. I literally dreamed that I was having crazy dreams and waking up. I had, I probably went to sleep and awoke in my dream 20 different times having 20 different crazy dreams only to wake up at the end and find out that was all a dream serious one of my dreams at the end woke up and told my dad i was laying in this bed grabbed onto this thing started floating around the room my dad was laying on this couch he turned into a powder puff girl or uh one of those cartoon network big headed girl characters with the big like green eyes like that are shaped like that that makes sense and it, everything was like pink and I think the couch was green and stuff and I was floating upside down around the room. It wasn't fun. I didn't. I don't like pain medicine. I don't like the dreams it makes you have. For that fact, I literally only slept 45 minutes last night. I, I was scared to go back to sleep. <laughs> oh God. I literally stayed up all night last night. Watched Iron Man 3 in theaters on my TV here because they got like an internet browser. It's actually pretty cool. They got like a keyboard over here uh, and you just plug up your little remote right there to it and uh, you type on it and you can go to websites and YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, so I was watching movies and stuff so it was pretty cool. Got a nice little view out the window. Hadn't even really been able to look out the window so I'm sitting over here on the couch like looking out. Plus I'm tired of sitting in that freaking bed. Holy crap. Ooh, look at me in the mirror. It's my butt. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm tired of peeing in a jug. Can I tell you that? I'm tired of peeing in a freaking jug. <laughs> I have to be in the jug because they're trying to like measure my pee and make sure like all the liquids they're putting into me are coming out. <laughs> it's alright to pee in a jug once or twice. When you do it for like three days straight, it gets old. <laughs> Playing with Riley. <laughs> it's so cute to see her like do things like that. Look at you, you fluffy thing, you. <laughs> She's so cute. I love this cat. Oh, <laughs> you got it. That was good. All right, ready for this? It takes skin with it. So today I'm going to be cleaning and doing a lot of different things around the house, making a meatloaf. Ty, I know you want some. Maybe I'll save you a piece. No, I won't because it'll go bad by the time I see you again. But I'm going to be making meatloaf for my dad. I'm walking this little mutt. This is the most awesomest thing ever. I'm so happy I found it. It is so good with him, especially with all of his circles. Yeah, there's the two little fawns that were just born. I saw a turkey and its babies the other day. And I think I also saw a fox. 
saw a fox and I think she, whoa, bugs, might have given birth as well. So we've got baby foxes and deer and turkeys. I love this place. It's so awesome. I love having like the woodsy area here by my house. I love it so much. I'm such a nature loser. I used to like spend most of my time walking and wandering through these woods when I was younger. So my mom's here now. We're out walking in the parking garage. She wanted to go out and I was like, I'm going outside. My doctor actually told me to walk around today, so because I've been so weak, I gotta get my energy back. It's go skate day still. I forgot about that. I, I need to tell the camera. It's go skateboarding day. I haven't got to skateboard. I am so glad you brought my car. My skateboard is right there. I'm at least gonna skate for a second. Not enough to sweat, not enough to make anything happen. One or two tricks. At least I got to skate on go skate day for a second. It's like 10.30, so I still got like an hour and a half. I don't get hit by a car. And there comes a the car as soon as I want to go. You made this shake. Somebody's Tyler. Busting out straight straight from a hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. At least I got to skate for a second. It's not enough, really, but I'll let it do. It'll work. So being as my dad's been only eating hospital food for the past three months, I want to say, yeah, wow, he's been in the hospital for pretty much three months, if not longer than that. Um, I'm gonna make him some meatloaf, because apparently that's what he wants. So I'm gonna make it, and my mom will take it to him tomorrow if I am not going. I'm gonna try and wake up early so I can somehow go, and then I'll spend the whole day until probably like late at night if I do go. Um, that's the sucky thing is no car, no way to get back and forth, so I have to stay until I can ride home with my mom. So I've got all my ingredients except for the meat, which is in the, the thing. I don't have onions, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I probably am not gonna end up using onion salt, but I've got some wine, I've got some balsamic vinegar, I have to get the Worcestershire sauce, the steak sauce. My mom likes to put bran flakes in hers. Not really sure what that's about. Breadcrumbs, Italian seed style, because, mmm, 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 Italian. Ah, if you didn't know, my family is, like, a good percentage of Italian, and a lot of everything that we make is Italian here, for the most part. But, yeah, pretty much all Italian, so. Ty, I know you're gonna want some, and I know you're gonna be like, oh, I miss the food. I am really craving New York pizza right now. Really am. And I've been snacking on some blowbars and watermelon. <laughs> I love how it's like there's cat food and dog food in there too. Ew. Oh my god. This hall area that they got me on is like an isolation hall. Like these rooms are pressurized and stuff like that. Like, like isolation room 409. Don't call here or anything because I'm not there anymore. <laughs> Uh, iOS, ISO mode, positive, room status, occupied, like they keep the, everything's like pressurized in there. Like they keep every, like all the air like filtered through a different place and everything. That's what Maul's saying. Yeah. Who was saying that? Maul, uh, Diane. It's weird. Why is that? I don't know, just because there's diseases and stuff that do, they don't want spreading. So Chance just left, left with his girlfriend to go to her house and pick up a GameCube and the Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing. I know that they have it on 3DS now, I think. And I've been wanting to play, so she's like, you have to play it, it's gonna change your life. So I'm excited, because I get to play video games, along with waiting for Meatloaf to be done, and then I'm gonna clean. I gotta clean this room, I gotta, I got a lots to clean. This battery is almost dead already. I just turned on the camera. Rocking that vlogger fave shirt, what? I, I miss it already. I'm excited for VidCon, which I think is sold out. I hope you guys are coming. Are you going to come? Are you going to see us? Me and Ty, are you going to hug us? Because I want hugs. Ty hates hugs, but you should give him a hug. <laughs> oh, we should do something. Ooh, but he's going to be editing this. Never mind. We're going we're gonna to secretly work on something to do. If you guys are coming to VidCon, something we can prank Ty with or something. That would be fun. Oh. All right, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm sleepy. 
didn't sleep last night, so I could probably gonna pass out pretty quick. I, I realized earlier I said it was Saturday. I might try to edit that out because I look stupid because it's Friday. Um, but yeah, I to get to sleep. Hopefully I can sleep through the night. Hopefully I can leave early in the morning and just get out of here quick. I don't feel like being here anymore. So we're going to go to sleep so you can get through it quicker, right? Yeah, and also because I'm extremely tired. You know, the typical thing while making food, I have this song in my head. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Your genitalia. I cannot get it out of my head. It's really bad. To the point where I'm literally making songs out of, I mean, it is a song, but I'm making like different ways of song with it. I'm like, show me your genitals, your genitals, what? Show me your genitals, your genitalia. <sighs> and that dog scratching at the door. This dog chooses the worst times to do anything and all things. <sighs> but yeah, go make some meat. I got my nice big slab of meat. It was two dollars off and I'm gonna put that in there and make a thing, magic happening in this bowl and then there. It's gonna be beautiful. I'll show you guys. By the way, don't show me your genitals, please. Keep that to yourself. Keep that. That's your no-no spot. Keep that in your pants. And only show it to whoever you get married to. And doctors, because they need to make sure everything's okay. But only when at a doctor's office. Okay, I'll take you out! Good morning. It is Saturday now. The doctor just came in, looked at the thing. It looks much better. It's almost like completely gone now. They're gonna put me on oral antibiotics, like I said. They're gonna do the prescription and everything now, I guess, and uh, should be going home in like hopefully the next hour. May not even take that long, and maybe in like 10 15 minutes. I just gotta like get this stuff done. I've been eating a lot better since I've been here. Uh, like, I've been eating salads and fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, and I kind of want to continue that. I've been wanting to go on like a vegetable uh, or not a vegetarian diet because I want to eat like chicken and tuna but I've been wanting to go on like a, a better eating thing and this is going to the hospital definitely makes me want to do it even more I know I say that all the time but I'm this is definitely motivating because I don't want to eat sick I know that had nothing to do with my eating schedule or anything or not my eating schedule but how I eat or anything like that it had nothing to do with that it was just a scratch that got infected um, but it makes me want to eat better. So I don't want to come back into this, this for some other reason. So I fear this meatloaf might end up being a total train wreck because I did not have garlic and I did not have onions. Which, if you didn't know, gives it a lot of flavor. But now we're going to play some Animal Crossing. Or she's playing. <laughs> and I'm watching. It looks really cute. I don't know if it's copyrighted, so I'm not going to show you. But oh no, there might be a new game I'm going to get addicted to. <laughs> This is the best apple juice I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. I want to buy every one of these. Ocean Spray 100% apple. And I don't think it'll be better if I buy in a bigger one. I think it's just this size. I'm going to eat me a Greek yogurt and some fruit over here. That's for my breakfast. I don't know. What is it? You have to like the texture. It's thick. It's like cottage cheese or something. I don't like it. I'll try it. This is the quote on that song. I don't even notice this. Be glad of life because it gives you the chance to love and work and play and look up to the stars. Look up at the stars. Henry Van Dyke. Tell my mom how bad this hospital food is. Look at this. This is. It doesn't maybe look that bad, but if, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. But this cheese looked like some yellow water they poured on it. Try a piece of it, and then try a little bit of the grits too, because I'd imagine those grits are the nastiest grits you could eat. Oh, look at cheese. It's not bad. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Try it. It's actually not bad. Look at that cheese. It's cheese. Is that a hair? Don't even say that. Oh, God, it is. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> uh -huh, that's not funny. <laughs> it's not bad, it's fun. <laughs> well, it wasn't bad. It really wasn't. <laughs> I'll try the grits if you don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to try the grits. 
actually the egg wasn't bad. It really was. Uh, funny. Thanks, Try, Scott. Appreciate it. <laughs> I just seen that after you lifted it up. Dude, is that it, a hair? <laughs> That's nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> that don't even look like her. Her face. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> I was like, this is, it's like it they, it's like they don't try to make, like, I don't know. It's like prison let's food. Let's dump that out, a teaspoon of sugar. Salt. Salt. Um, oh, let's add a little pepper. To <laughs> the exercise economy. <laughs> exercise pepper. That hair, I mean, <laughs> it, it not. The egg wasn't even bad and they ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> grits taste like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you're not. No, they just don't taste like grits. I know. Mine is the hospital food that tastes so much different than regular. <laughs> I know. They've got other food up there that tastes just normal, but the food they actually give to patients. It's like they got a little area in their kitchen where they just <laughs> <laughs> they make it separately. <laughs> they just specifically try to make it nasty. <laughs> it ain't getting any better. <laughs> and I had grits from the cafeteria. Them are not the same as <laughs> Oh my god. I think what it is is they basically don't put any kind of salt, nothing in their food. And so it's super blend. And then when you go to add your little bit of extra to it, you need a, you really need to add a lot more because they It needed to be done when they were making it. Mm. <laughs> it's like prison food. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Quit flopping it around. <laughs> Quit. You tried. You tried. What are you doing? I'm trying to beat the juice off of it. Ooh. Try it. You try. I'm not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you quit playing with it and just take a bite of it? Uh, let's try it. <laughs> Actually, this is not too bad. Because <laughs> you know how sausage has like really, really high sodium flavor? Yeah. This just has a, you know, it tastes like sausage should taste without all the sodium. No. So this isn't too bad. Just wouldn't eat it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, nothing's good. I may have played Harvest Moon for about an hour and then Fallout for a couple of hours. <laughs> and now we're playing Super uh, Mario Party? Mario Party. Okay. Oop. So we're bonding. It's great. Do you want to do this that is one? the only time, and this is actually probably okay. the only way my brother and that I can one, bond. Fair square or that the, the black. Trying to pick a map. Gold. I don't want to show it because it's Nintendo. Just figured it out, guys. We're in the Matrix. Max started this whole thing out. Cam is finishing it. What is Cam spelled backwards? Mac. <laughs> <laughs> my doctor on the board is Cam. Just popped it. Literally just popped in my head. We're sitting here waiting on the freaking paperwork to be finished. Taking forever. <sighs> you know what I should do? There's a number on the room. Tweet out for people to be able to call my room. No. Yeah. No. Why? Because. Oh, yeah, because then people will continue calling for me. Like, once they put somebody else in here. All right, I would, but... <laughs> yeah, that would be good. <laughs> people will be calling in for days. <laughs> like, can't see it on there. Like, it. Well, I'm not in here anymore. Don't call. Oh, God, that'd be bad. Because it's like the cancer hall. I didn't even know that I was on the cancer hall. Like, I was in you guys' isolation room. Uh, they just like asked me if I wanted to move here because I was in another room before this. Uh, and then they asked me if I wanted to move here. Or not here, but they asked me if I wanted to move because they act like they needed the room that I was in. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll move. And I moved to the Kansas Hall. Thankfully, I'm not here for the reason this hall's here. That's good. Peace, hospital room. I am done with you. Uh, I'm ready to go. Grabbing these bags. I'm not peeing in this freaking jug no more. Y'all can take my name off of it. Poured some in a cup, I, I was thirsty. I'm just kidding, it's apple juice. I had to use it to take my antibiotics. Ready? I'm ready.
Let's get it. They finally left the house. I'm at Target shopping for some stuffs that I need that I'm out of. And now I have to find my mother, which can be a very difficult task in a store this big. Or any store, really. God, it feels good to be home. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Uh. Dang, I'm, I'm so glad to be out of that hospital. Holy crap. We're on a journey to try and find a garbage can. <laughs> She's fiddling with Tom's chances, like making some musical noise over there with the top. This is so stupid. Chance, this isn't it. Yeah, uh, this is what I eat. <laughs> So it's later on in the afternoon now. Uh, I went and actually skated. Uh, right when I got back from the hospital, because I took my like antibiotics by mouth, um, right when I was leaving, I got kind of sick feeling. Uh, so I got to be careful to not, because I'm taking two different antibiotics, I got to be careful to take them like with food and not right at the same time, or it'll make me kind of sick feeling just because they're so strong. Um, but I went and skated, because I started feeling better. Me and Johnny went and skated. I didn't vlog any, but don't worry. I'll hang out with them again. I'll probably go skate and stuff. Yeah, I'm at my back at my mom's house now. Me and Mac and she are gonna head home soon. Uh, we're gonna eat dinner uh, over here. She's making some hamburger steaks. I'm gonna eat some of that. It's gonna be delish. And uh, head back home. I'm tired. Skating wore me out. I definitely do not have as much energy as I did a week ago. But it's all right. I'll get it back. Just gotta start eating again. Chance is hiding a secret item. For, no, he's just gonna yeah, hide just it and see if my mom dollar, notices. It's not a dollar. It's not a dollar. It's not a dollar. You won't buy it. No, I get it. It's a dollar. It's not a dollar. I'm not buying it. Those are something. What are those, mom? <laughs> she goes, What are these? Did They're cute, pretty princess crayons, mom. Did you get a sale on this? What are these? <laughs> oh, that's rude. Oh, she would. You don't eat them. Open them up. <laughs> Me and Mackie Shu are headed back to the house now. It's, I finally actually feel like I'm home now because. I've like I came back from Jersey to be home and then I got sick and I haven't really been able to enjoy being home because I've been hating it been hating everything uh, but yeah I'm finally better now hopefully it stays that way which it will please don't throw up Mac so uh, we're gonna play some Mario party again we are we're addicted now his girlfriend was so competitive yesterday that we played until like one in the morning. That was her fault. <laughs> no, I know, I know. The computer's freaking like good. We put it on normal and it was kicking our butts for a while. But I won the last time. I had like six stars and a lot of coins. I was so happy because the last, like the first round, I lost. But yo, yeah, I get it. You're excited to see me, dude. Get out of here. We want food. Just give it all to us. Put it in our mouths. Yeah, it's late, it's <laughs> 11 o'clock. Oh, look at him, he's excited, cause I'm home. I think he thinks I'm his mommy now. Two, for one for me. Except cheese. Black cheese on my burgers. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, okay, I get it, you like me. Oh my God. I wanna be told. Told. Or should I be Yoshi? I'm literally being attacked. No. I was like, I don't know what he's doing. It hurts. Stop it. So today's Sunday. I just got to the Whitewater Center. Tim is here. Check it out. Here's his new uh, Ford Fiesta. I seen it when I was like riding by. Fiesta movement. Nice. I like that it's blue. It looks pretty sweet. It's like the racing edition. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go uh, and meet Tim at the front. He said they're doing like a canopy tour, which is where you go through the trees. Like there's sort of like an obstacle course thing um, at like 3.30, but it's supposed to rain around 4, so I don't know if we're going to end up doing it, but I wasn't doing anything, so I figured I'd come up here and uh, hang out with him. He said they're just hanging around, so Let's see what we can do. I really want to buy a pass here, and the canopy tour he said is like 89 bucks, so I might pay another 100 bucks and just go ahead and get a pass. Or actually, not even 100 bucks, like 90 bucks. I think it's like 180 for a pass to do everything here, as much as you want. I saw your face on the crowded place. And I don't know what to do. Because I'll never be with you. I love this song. This is a good song. So, I 
at the hospital now with my dad and I brought some pictures from home. This is a picture of his mom and dad, a picture of him and my mom at the wedding, me and my little brother when we were little children and then my brother gave him that. <laughs> Who cares? And then he has a white uh -huh. Corv Corvette car that he loves and I brought that and then I drew that for him on Father's Day and I call him my bad man because he is so strong and awesome. But spending time with him and my mommy and then I guess I'm gonna go home later and clean and sleep. Tim and his brother. Recording. <laughs> Tim's looking cool with his GoPro. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the canopy tour. We're going to be up there. Oh, I think that's a rope tour. I don't know what we're doing. But it's supposed to be four hours long. In the rain. Yeah, it's starting to, to drizzle now. But I think it, I don't think it'll stay long. Should be fun. Let's hope. Hope we don't fall out of a tree today. <laughs> Alright, we're strapped in. Got my little harness on. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel like extra <laughs> large. <laughs> yeah, there's not much space down there. We'll uh, make do. Basketball shorts is not a good idea. I know. I don't like basketball shorts. This thing's heavy. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Eric. My little brother. Little brother. <laughs> He's taller than you. Not so little brother. <laughs> ready, Tim? I'm ready. We've already been doing some. We just walked across this like bridge thingy. It was bouncy. Very bouncy. Now we're doing a zip line. This is supposed to be the fastest one. Ready. Pretty far up. <laughs> I mean, you guys know me. I'm not a huge fan of heights, but <laughs> the earlier, the one we did earlier, we were 65 feet up in there. Yeah. It's <laughs> at it's the highest a lot point. Than it sounds, though. <laughs> Pick up your feet. Getting hooked in. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Get ready for action. All right, you can step uh, on off that stump. Be careful, there's not a whole lot of room. I was asked to apply. Sit down, pick up your feet, and go ahead. Yeah. Water. I'm sure a lot of wind. There you go. Nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> better fall. <laughs> Here comes Tim. <laughs> oh, that fell over when I stood up on it. Yes. <laughs> Tim, you're like very slow. Hey, this is like pretty slick. <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Land. <laughs> yes. The wood. Which is kind of this thing. It's sort of like the things you see at theme parks, like where they like spin over, except this one doesn't spin. I made it up in 23 seconds, and like the fastest time is 8.9. 8.9 9 seconds up all that? That's crazy. I don't think I could beat 8.9, but I could definitely get a lot faster in 23. That was my first time. Now we're about, to, we're about to go over the, the slowest zip line. Oh, you didn't make it. <laughs> Let me push you. To speed yeah. you up on this one. Yeah, you have to push me. All right. Just run out, jump, and hook it as you're in there. <laughs> Hope you make it. <laughs> All right, ready to push you? I'm going to do a run, too. Right, right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna make it. Nope. No, he didn't. Now we're about to jump off this platform. Over on this side, the, the higher side, and this little thing is gonna be the thing that drops us down. Earlier we did a thing where we like hold the rope and drop down. That one was pretty like sketchy because <laughs> all the rope was wet and so we were yeah, like slipping down. It kept down. like stopping. <laughs> And I fell, it felt like eight feet off. <laughs> like, yeah. like I let go of the rope and he was holding it. I felt like eight feet and slammed. It was fine though. <laughs> Tim, back foot. <laughs> no, back foot. <laughs> I'm <just> I <laughs> I don't think Tim would do that anyways. Ready, Tim? Give it a nice little tug up to make sure there's no slack in it and take one 
one big step off. Oh, <laughs> Make sure there's no slack. Now jump. Big step. You can't squat or lean. I mean, you can lean, but as long as you don't bend your hips. All right, ready. Yep. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw this up over your shoulder. You can put it over your head too if you want. So pull the sling across your chest. Grab hold of this with at least one hand. Walk up to the edge. Give it a nice little tug upward to make sure there's no slack. And then take a big step off. That wasn't bad. That first step there. Oh. Sounds good to be on the ground. <laughs> That first step though is like, <laughs> you're, there's nothing underneath yeah, you. It's just jumping out. All the other ones I didn't have a problem with, but then when, you, when you're when you up there and you look down, there's nothing, and you're lying <laughs> on this machine thing up there. You look like, you look like you're questioning it. I was like, <laughs> I don't think I could, and I just kind of jumped. I said, screw it, jumped. It's not like, the first little part is like the worst. But it's fun until it like catches you and starts slowing you down. So that was fun. Definitely a workout. It was easy, but you have to, you have to have some ability to do that. You can't do it if you're like not used to working out. Like I feel like I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah. In my legs. Mainly for me, like the straps around your shoulders, like just pulling down on you the whole time. That wore I mean, me those out. things. Some of those bridges are pretty tough. Too. Yeah. They're, like swinging everywhere and it's like. Uh, on my first trial on that one bridge that I showed you, I beat the instructor. The girl, yeah. though. You got like what, 21? 20, 20, I got 20, was it 22 yeah, or 23? It was 22 and her and she was like a second, yeah, she was like a second uh, I had like slower. 22, and then Eric had like 58. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was fun. Mega jump. And the zip line. This is like the thing in Vegas. Like the mega jump, except you're jumping off something 1,000 feet in the air. <laughs> Tim and Eric are ready to go on the big zip line. Get it, Tim. Sweet fiesta, Tim. It kind of lo it looks blue, but sometimes it kind of looks purple. Like it looks blue from here yeah. and kind of purple from right here. That's what I like about it. It's awesome. Much better than Jared's. If you're watching Jared, <laughs> oh, really it's the racing edition, right? Yeah, it's the ST. Look at these racing seats. Wow, it's it's manual drive. I learned how to drive manual. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's awesome. That was a fun day. I even just went and skated again a little bit. Whew, sweaty day too, at, at that, holy crap. I'm exhausted. Whew, it's good to be back though. It's good to be back. This is also a mess. Dancing like a fool. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, click the like button down below. Subscribe for new videos Monday through Friday, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ty's iPhone help with the pirate gray. Working hard, doing vlogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? They help with everybody, man. Videos on the way. Subscribe today. Hit like it plus.